What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have the Mar this Maratha stack um, driving south, attempting to get behind our lines and threaten Mysore, but Eugene Denman is not going to take that line down. Instead he has sallied forth to attack their force. So you can see there's a significant component of melee infantry, um, armed peasantry and a bucket load of lancers. So not really something for us to worry about. Let's meet them on the field and destroy them and push them back. We are also um, sieging two more territories on the frontier, two large cities. And I think, to be honest, the Marathas are a bit screwed. Um, we've got two armies pushing in from the east, currently unchallenged, pushing on to Satara and Hindustan, I believe. Uh, yeah, I think they're done for. Normally, the normally an isolated. Indian faction will really turtle, but for whatever reason, it appears like they haven't. Um, in this case, let's deploy my howitzers. Their job is to try and whittle down the numbers of enemy melee troops. Let's take all of our line infantry and form a central position. Let's put our Hesse Castle Grenadiers on the right flank, and they look pretty darn awesome, I think. We can put a unit of Marines on the left. Put some Queen's Rangers on one flank. Let's take some Queen's Rangers and put them on the other flank. Combine two units of cavalry on the right flank. Let's take two units and put them on the left flank. Mr. Denman in the centre. So let's take Queen's Rain, the Queen's Rangers and advance the map. Let's take the 16th Light Dragoons. They can actually be fire at will on. Just add a little extra sparring capability. Yeah, I was a bit late in combining these. Getting my howitzers to fire quick climb their job will be to, th to thin out the enemy dervishes okay, so my rangers have got their stakes down to provide a bit of cover fire it well off because I know exactly what's going to happen here I was hoping to time a volley like that. Get my cuirassier to go around the flank. Oh, cavalry is smacked into my entire line. You guys have actually abandoned your guns. See, the heavy use of skirmish cavalry on the right flank has actually done really well. So that's Pindari horsemen, Pindari horsemen, and the lancers repelled. Mass cavalry route on the right flank as well. So my cuirassier advance, same in my regiment of horse. My rangers advance up to the flank of the new position. You men all hit that unit of dervishes. Make sure I might switch my howitzers to round shot and get them to focus on the horsemen to the rear. New men charge the dervishes. It looks like they are going to hit our line in a couple of areas. They're going to hit my howitzers, but they're also going to get drawn into the square of the marines. Let's run my howitzer crews away. Continue to threaten their rear, charge into the peasantry, 
get these men out of square and out of line. Fire it will off. Grenadiers are starting to move, but let's not get too hasty. My cuirassiers are engaging their flank. Get these light dragoons to skirmish the enemy general. My cuirassier to engage the horsemen. How many volleys have you got left in you? Plenty. Field artillery engage the enemy general as well. Mr. Denman, you will be deployed. So the howitzers can cease fire. New men advance to closer range than this. Fire. Make ready. Volley. Fire present. Are they reloading? Some of them are. Doing some damage to them. Bodyguards charging. Let's see if I'll reload and put a volley into them before that happens. The general has been shot down from his elephant. Artillery shot nearby is enough to get them to abandon the pursuit. Excellent. So you men focus on the dervishes. You guys pick up the armed peasantry. You guys try and attack that union of dervishes instead. Uh, Royal Indian Infantry Guards have decided to sit back for an awfully long time, but I'm still going to play on increased speed. Chiefly because there's no real need to slow everything down just to fight both their Indian guard, guard, guard units have been hunkering down in cover let's hope we can get a bit of experience on our general I think a couple of these dervish units might end up actually escaping You men, well, they're going to form up, ready to charge the guards. One last dervish here, who is also going to come over here to form up to face the guards. You're continuing to attack the peasantry. You're continuing to attack the dervishes. Bring the light dragoons in, fire at will. Ready. This, they're, they're sat there going, they're sat there dropping volleys in against us. Light dragoons charging in. The Indian guard has been cut. In, Indian guard unit's been cut in half. They have routed. So let's continue to trot my dragoons around. I might make my cuirassier charge them. Let my dragoons continue to engage the Royal Indian Infantry Guards. Cease fire. Cease fire with my dragoons. You men cease fire as well. Damn right we're going to continue. This is quite a good opportunity here. The general's got another unit of exp another um, experience chevron. Well, his first experience chevron, actually. Let's take this as a golden opportunity to damage, or near as damn it, destroy an entire Maratha army. 
particularly these elite units because right now we've got a lot of some depleted dervishes and some armed populace units will have escaped as well as the cavalry but it's very nice to knock out these elite infantry units there we go decisive victory for our army yeah we only lost 382 men good show mr denman let's push them back northward so you men replenish yeah we are sieging satara with mr boyle we will be fighting that hyderabad can wait a bit because this army is, is going to do, do a bit of replenishment especially as we've got some time from these troops advancing so yeah going for Ujjain and Akbarabad the assumption is we can take Hyderabad and push on to Nagpur either, either with this army or with the force at Katak able to leave minus four damn close yes, um, but first we're going to take this army here at Goa under Dominic Tully Goa does not like that, so we're going to drop in some militia, but we want to take Mr. Tully and attack Anup Pathar, 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 and push them away. I mean, I might push them into range of the Satara fight, but that's no matter. We need to fight them now while we've got them on the run, so let's attack that force. They've got a couple of units of artillery to deal with, but mostly it will, it would generally it generally feels like the Marathas are producing less capable armies than the Mughals do. Which was, is weird, because way back when, when I used to play Empire, it used to be backwards. The Marathas were always the one to watch out for, the Mughals were always a bit less competent. Let's drop our guns up on the hill to do counter-battery work. Deploy the bulk of our line because we've got a couple of cool units to look at so here we have the king's royal regiment of new york which look actually it's deployed them somewhere not hiding there we go they look pretty good green coats blue facings quite a nice little regiment and compared to a we don't have any vanilla regular units but they are Looks like they're generally on par with line infantry. I'm, I'm giving these guys a, the colonial line a bit of leeway because they are experience level one compared to zero, but there's not that many significant showstoppers considering accuracy and reloading is probably the same once you get rid of the experience. Yeah, they're pretty close. And you've also got the company of selects marksmen slash Fraser's rangers who just look like a pretty decent looking skirmish units are so compared to rangers they've got the same overall range actually it's slightly less less range but they're more accurate okay so you've got less range more accurate but they reload slower and misfire more often morale is a lot better the defense is worse and the melee attack is worse okay so they aren't exactly it's not exactly a, a slam dunk as to which you know is this are they uniquely better than other skirmish units well probably not let's put some but, but it's good for variety let's put some phrases ranges on the left ranges on the right heavy cover and lights on the left on the right light cover on the left pikes advancing within our line or behind our line drop our howitzers general in the center let's get cracking first of all okay if i make them fire um round shot they can't actually shoot so i'm gonna try and scoot up to this position here push our cavalry up the right flank it looks like we might have a bit of competition from enemy cavalry there keep the phrases rangers outside of the town keep the light cavalry outside of the town my howitzers are engaging at max range i'm kind of assuming they get a bit closer oh 
called the King's Royal Regiment of New York. So they might have to stand by to repel cavalry. Doesn't look like it's going to cause us that much of a problem, but let's push on through. Hoping I can run my rangers or my king's royal regiment past this combat here or even better have it cease before my troops get nearby dervishes are inbound so let's get my artillery to start to try and knock out the men on that flank they've tried uh, they've, they've tried to engage my royal regiment in the rear that's not worked. Let's push up our line to try and get more firepower onto the dervishes. Get my pikemen up at the front. Company of select marksmen advance. The cavalry's routed. These are my mercenaries. We've got a scattered volley in before the enemy gone into position by the Royal Regiment of New York fire at will on so you men yeah, the American infantry mercenaries are not happy but the dervish is routed first so you men reform your line Skirmishes are going to engage on the flank. Actually, slam the cuirassier into that unit of dervishes. The better we can get rid of them. The sooner we can get rid of them, the better. Looks like my pikes, which I didn't run up from the get-go, are going to be pretty important. Let's bring our cavalry to slam in that unit, into that unit of dervishes. The marksmen retreat. Fire it will off. Ooh, the Lancers are going to be a bit of a dodgy one. If you men pour fire into the, into the flank of the Dervishes, that would be great. Okay, you men need to run, because you're going to get entangled with... ...the, uh... ...the Lancers. If you don't get it to, get to safety... ...safety being a fairly loosely defined word. We throw my mercenaries into the rear of the dervishes. My pikemen are here to ease the, the struggle in the centre. My pikemen charging in against their dervishes quite conclusively. Let's counter charge that colonial line unit forward into the lancers. Okay, my rangers Looks like they've actually knocked out a Lancer unit, which is quite good. Push our line up forward. Let's retarget all of our artillery to focus on killing these enemy guns. Dervishes are, dervish, dervishes are shattered. Bring our cavalry up on the left. Push up our rangers as well. Ceasefire with the rangers there. Curacier and are very unhappy. You men have to charge the peasantry there. You men slam into the back of that unit of dervishes. You men charge the peasantry. Okay, light cavalry. Yeah, my Curacier are upset with the the way the battle has gone, and that's not a that's understandable. Let's get my get my light cavalry just to pursue some dervishes away. Everyone charged, looks like the guns have been routed. So we've got a unit Pindari horseman. Focus fire with my field artillery. 
the rangers are running to get involved. I think that's the last enemy unit, so let's form up to engage them with musketry. I mean, this battle went a bit awry following the offensive nature of my advance in the centre of the line. Oof. Real mess. Let's just end that battle there, actually. Ooh, it was a bit dodgy at points, but overall it was a reasonable win. Yeah, we lost nearly a thousand men. That's not the sort of engagement we want to continue too many times. But you men replenish. You're replenishing so we can take Mr. Boyle and attack Satara, where the garrison, well, the remnants of the army we've just fought, are going to push up. So push up and support them, which shouldn't be a problem because they're all pretty depleted. So let's take the city of Satara. They do have a unit of mortars, a bunch of cavalry, lots of melee infantry. We want to be a bit careful how we approach this. I think the way we're going to do it is knock many, many holes in the wall, quick climb the bejesus out of their melee infantry, and then launch our offensive when it's the most um, advantageous to us rather than the enemy. Which I know it all seems like quite obvious stuff. <laughs> Um, it's remarkable how in these games you do need to kind of talk to yourself and make sure that you're you're in tune with your own plan, not just get swept along. This is quite cool, because it means we can actually potentially fire over the um, gates of the city. Over the walls of the city into the centre with our field artillery. So let's take a selection of infantry and cover the front the frontal sector of the fort. Then with the Highlanders, our Grenadiers and our mining and our um, Marines, we're going to be ready to slam into the left flank. And Mr. Boyle is going to be here. I didn't get the drop on him quick enough, but here comes Quick Lime. I think it's probably them all. But yeah, that's a lot of guns they've got firing at us. So it's kind of important that we get our gunners up here. Unlimber them. So I'm just going to do speed up time a little bit. And then say, okay, all of you guys work on that section of the wall. redirect them to attack the wrong site but I think it's worth doing whole lot of melee infantry in here Hindu warriors Sipahi pikemen oh no not pikemen that's the Sipahi dervishes though so this is a no-brainer speed up time because we are just trying to knock the walls down Knock the walls down, create more openings for our, our invasion force. And it looks like the camel nomads are quite happy to just... Oh, there goes the general. So because their reinforcements are so weak, I don't really have a problem with doing that. Just keep attacking the centre. Because when the reinforcements do come in, they're not going to be um, that useful. One more volley in. Yeah, that's enough. Oh. So there's the enemy. Let's speed up time, just because if they want to come at us, they're they're more than we're more than ready for them. The 20th Regiment of Foot. You're in position. Fire. Your entire volley. Okay, good. I was going to say. Did your entire volley miss? So we've got a unit of landless rabble marching in. I 
think there are more to cruise of. I mean, look, 255 dervishes down to 3, 2, 13. I think the mortar crews must just be dead. So let's not beat about the bush. Beat around the bush. Let's get in there. Get my artillery just to keep choking away at their remaining armed populace units. You guys chase off their landless rebel. We don't really need so many men to attack. Let's see. We can push up, and I wonder if we will engage them because they're on. They're in the. They're on the field, but are some of them stuck. They are stuck here. I presume we'll engage them, but. Okay, let's get a Scottish line infantry unit to climb over the wall. Get some grenadiers to scale up left. And get some Scottish infantry to scale up right. But then we've got these three units here who are going to be fireball off, looking to surge through the gate. So you men scale the wall there, you men scale near the gate, and you men get into the gate. Interesting, they don't act, they're not actually going to uh, engage them. Let's bring a unit of colonial line up to the gate. Okay, very well. You men are going to go to the gate as well. Terry fire, switch to round shot, engage the camels. All you men over to the gatehouse or to the breach because it looks like they're gonna. Actually, you might drop into square to stop them from surging out of the gate. New men charging the armed populace. The 18th Regiment of Foot is going to secure the walls and then push out, I would imagine. Yeah, there we go. The 43rd can't understand what direction they want to be running in. Especially because I gave them orders to attack Firelock Armed Populace. It's the 23rd who have orders to defend the square. How it says ceasefire. Come on, let's give them, make sure they have an order to run through the gatehouse it should be ours any minute now there we go so then just swarm 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 attack pattern alpha well if they're just gonna let us run in then we'll run in Firelock on Populous is soon for the chop. Yeah, and there they go as well. So to be honest, let's just speed up time here. We all know what the end result of this is going to be. Come on, nomads are wavering. You guys are all charged the 24 pounder. Taken the central square, form line right through the middle of it. You men are attacking the last of the camel nomads. Everyone's wavering. Not exactly a red letter day for the Maratha Confederacy. You men attack the armed peasantry. 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, good old quicklime showing its quality once more. But there we go. We've taken Satara. So let's repair the building. Sin Shinawada. Hmm. Magnificent fortified palace. Raj's Academy, the Naval College, the Military Engineer School. These are all good things for us to have. Orders. Scoop aye, aye. my cavalry along. Lord? Aha, Mon University. Don't want one of you, and that will bring the city fairly into our mix. I mean, we're going to lose 14 clamber for reforms, so already going to be minus 8, but hopefully through repairing these buildings, things should be okay. So Eugene Aram, 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 push on to Eugene. Get more visibility on what's going on there, and I'm just going to have a quick break, just a second. And I'm back. A little comfort break. So, Satara is ours. We're pushing on Hyderabad, but because I want the army to do a bit more replenishing, we're not going to actually attack yet. Um, I'm tempted to take Dominic Tully and push him forward to Ahmadnagar. Let's put that under threat. Once Nerun is fortified a bit more... To be honest, it would be very handy to, say, take troops being recruited here at Ceylon and maybe push them up to push them up to that frontier. Actually, so let's do four of those, two company infantry, two line infantry. We'll get another unit of sepoys. Good. The Arcot is holding itself together. Katak can't leave yet. Yeah, got another army being raised here in Bengal. So let's add some more mercenaries. But we do have Oliver Charlton pushing on to Eugene. We have Elias Haskett pushing on towards Akbarabad. So what I'm going to do is hop back to Europe because we've got a few things that need doing. It's got a number of Forces pre-positioned pre for future attacks. Ridley Dawes, you're not... You don't really have a purpose, Mr. Dawes, because you've got an army here ready to attack Reykjavik. have got an army that's being built ready to attack Copenhagen. Whoa. Got an army here that can land and take Norway, an army here that can land and hit Sweden, got an army that's being raised here that can push and threaten Finland. So that's not a problem. So we need to fight the mighty battle near Kiev, which to be honest might be on the chopping board, might be up next. In terms of Ottomans, I mean, we can take Istanbul, we need to fight this action here. We have Felix Dodd, who can put Tbilisi under siege at the very least. We've got Mr. Bosley, who could just completely ignore that army and go threaten Yerevan. So next turn, if we take Istanbul and Kiev this turn and Tbilisi, next turn we can take Yerevan and the Crimea, and, and Crimea, not the Crimea, and push out the last, the last remnants of Ottoman power, which I think sounds pretty cool. So what I'm probably going to do is take... Lord? Is, that is it Richie Lord? Compton the Your one Majesty? to do it with? I think Sir. it is. To attack one of the armies outside the city. Or, to be honest, to attack the city. Because they have no defences, it doesn't make a difference. Yes, my Lord. So we attack the city, we bring in both of our reinforcing armies, and we drastically outnumber the Ottomans. So this is going to be an interesting battle, I think, and we'll take the city of Kiev. So... Let's boot them out. It's got a number of reinforcing armies coming in, so what we want to do is set up, use our overwhelming advantage in firepower to knock out a few key units, get them to flee, and then we'll get some good visibility on where the reinforcements are coming in from for the Ottoman Empire. So if we take these guys out, fight near Istanbul, clear them out, take Istanbul itself, and that will be that will be quite the uh, the victory for us because then the Ottoman forces will be weak we can push on and threaten um, push on and threaten uh, Persia from the west 
So let's form our line. Got a gun on the left. A formation of three units. A gun will stay on the left. A gun team on the right. Infantry and some guard units plus sharpshooters to hold the flank. And the left is a bit weaker, but we'll bolster them with our pike unit. And the bulk of our cavalry. We need to get ready to immediately decamp if things don't go right. I'm going to put a 12 pounder that's still unlimbered here and wait to see where reinforcements come in, if they come in immediately. Okay, apparently not. So we're going to start by bombarding their 24 pounders. We've lost one gun and five crewmen already. The Sipahi are running. Charge my heavy cavalry in to take them out. Howitzers focus on the horsemen. Use our skirmishers to deploy some stakes. Fire it will off. Got some light infantry that won't really stand up to an enemy to our artillery. We've managed to charge the Sipahi, so they're not going to be as effective as they would otherwise be. Got a unit of General's bodyguard coming in. That's a reinforcement, reinforcing unit, so let's take our limbered guns and set them up like so. Unit of horsemen isn't really going to provide them the effect they wanted. Let's get our artillery to start engaging some enemy units. Let's see if we can kill a few more Sipahi. We're not going to get the last one, but let's charge into the General's bodyguard. We've knocked them down to one cavalryman. So our sharpshooters get on the higher ground behind the stakes. We killed the enemy General in the initial charge. We could stand to probably push up, but I'm keen to let them advance. So the guns that are up on the hill behind, they can unlimber. Loose shrapnel shot on the enemy infantry walking in. The 16th horse guards have done a stupendous job at knocking out an enemy cavalry unit and the general. You don't really need to chase them down. Withdraw our line. You men fire it will again. The enemy has decided to do a bit of a suicidal charge against us. That cavalry unit's been shot down. Ooh, that's not where I want you to be aiming. You need to put some put some rounds into these bashi bazooks. Fortunately, they're going to wheel away from our guns. So our right flank looks fairly secure. It's a unit of desert warriors hunkered down in the distance. So let's see if we can try and turf them out with a bit of cavalry prodding. Bashis have been chased away. Who's that? Armenian archers charge into them with our heavy cavalry. This Fellaheen unit is being shot at in the flank by our sharpshooters. That's whittled them down a slight, a slight amount. These marines pouring volleys into them because they know they're charging directly at them. Oh, one more volley, please, before the lines meet. Point blank. We will take your charges.
Advance our line up, get our 12 pounders to prod the Desert Warriors to the rear. There you go, I want to try and get my gunners away. If I have to hire new gunners, then I will. Okay, you, that is a liability making you guys fire shrapnel shot. They're on the wrong side of the wall, so let's charge them. These guns limber up. So you managed to knock out one unit of archers, but we're actually... We're actually getting a... not hammered, but we're getting... grief from that attack, because we're being shot at by other... units. So more troops are coming in from behind the town. But we want to take our line and do something like this with it. Advance you guys up like so. Advance you guys up like so. There go the Desert Warriors. I mean, to be expected under an extremely heavy artillery barrage. Get a howitzers focusing on this reinforcing unit coming in from the flank. I mean, I might put them hmm, maybe back here. It's not ideal. Although, to be honest, they're not that bad there as long as I keep them engaging that stuff in the distance. This unit's a bit stuck. So the enemy are combining their strength. Camel Nomads are charging in, so let's see if... Swords raised. Heavy cavalry make ready. And they're going to hit our stakes beautifully. Sharpshooters, they're going to cease fire. I want to wait till they make it to the stakes and then give them a volley. So let's see how that works. I mean, these guys should be quite heavily thinned out when they hit the stakes. Fire. Dangerous volley at close range. Shattered. Excellent. Actually, fire will, because that general's bodyguard's crying out for some love. If they make it. Yeah, I thought not. Unit of Semini. Kurdish Hillman, Muslim. Let's advance my lineup. Let's take my sharpshooters towards the town with pike support. You men engage the Semini. My howitzers engage. Back here. To be honest, the most, the safest thing I can get my artillery to do is to fire round shot. You men push up. Yeah, they still do have. They do have men coming in on this flank, so we need to be a bit careful, but that's why I want my... No idea, I'll get my sharpshooters into the town hall and then keep my pikes nearby.
Heavy cavalry charge down the Kurdish hillmen. Then my line that's currently wide advance. Threaten the army that's reinforcing here so I can swing around, take land and push into the flank of over against these chaps on the to the at the back of the map. Let's bring my cavalry over, all of it over onto this flank. Zenith's Pahi. Okay, I might keep a regiment of horse back here. Actually, no, let's keep my lifeguards back here. My regiment of horse can go over onto the right flank. Toggle Pike Wall. I wasn't. No, was it? I was kind of not expecting them to charge me head on like that. It might actually it'd be interesting to interesting research actually. You guys ceasefire. So Sipahi unit, which is an armored lance cavalry. Charged a unit of Swiss pikemen. And did really well. I could charge my cavalry in, but I don't want to. I want to see what happens. I think pressing... Like, look, they're all kind of stuck. They're not actually... Fighting the way they should. Huh. Good research, though. Puts a bit more pressure on my army's ability to win on this flank. I think it's doable though. Get my heart, it's actually to all fire round shot and focus on the unit of Janissaries. They're pouring volleys into the Janissaries here, so they probably won't last very long. Let's go back to here. There's one last gunner. The new man up here. You've got a better angle to attack some of these units coming in. Janissary unit's routed. That Janissary unit is probably going to rout. Keep pushing really aggressively. Like, granted, there's a melee Janissaries, but they aren't the be all and end all. You men withdraw. There we go, my rangers in here can open fire. The main factor isn't any one unit, it's about probably taking this unit, slam into the Janissaries, push two units through the mess. Maelstrom to begin threatening the enemies to the rear. Units that escape the action can advance into the town as necessary. It's probably a bit of a bad idea to switch them to canister shot. It's a quick climb shot. Go. Let's take some of our troops that have now been freed up from this engagement. 
to be honest. Just ceasefire all of our guns. Foot artillery all the way at the rear, though. You men are charging this array just to slow them down. Cavalry versus Bashi Bazooks. I might put my new chaps here and then run these guardsmen up to help the cavalry. Are you men putting volleys in at point blank range? Even the officer pulled out his pistol and had a go. The Isaradi are upset following the engagement. You men cease fire and charge in on foot if that is your desire. Heavy cavalry charge the hillmen, which they may or may not survive. I mean, the lifeguard, they'll do good work, but Bashi Bazooks aren't terrible. They are capable of doing damage. Uh, the irregulars are up here as well. They might, that might be the end of my cavalry there. But the name of the game is just to hold the line to allow my other units to advance. All of you men against the Israeli. Yeah, the heavy cavalry have broken. Hopefully the guardsmen here will help tip the balance here with the lifeguards. Should help knock them down a peg or two. Let's cease fire on my howitzers in case they're doing something untoward. general unit that's coming into support is literally just about to run into a barricade. Yeah, I was going to say, it's surprising that you guys have stuck around for so long, but there we are. My sharpshooters here can engage the Kurdish hillmen in the rear, but sadly with a no noise. Got more cavalry coming in. Janissary Grenadiers are returning to the fight, but once we've knocked out those uh, Israeli, which I might throw those guardsmen into there instead. You're picking them off. Hello? They mean to make a go of it, sir. We need to break this Israeli to bring our other troops to bear. Let's get my general to do a flanking run. It looks like the Kurdish hillmen are going to break. Yeah, my regiment of horse is upset, understandably. Harold? Oh, for God's sake. Sorry, Harold. Goddamn spikes. Skirmishes advance. Put the Hadid Irregulars under siege. Looks like they are meaning to bayonet charge my infantry. I mean, they are Janissary Grenadiers, but and Feline Musketeers. My troops, my cavalry that are attacking the Israeli have broken. The Sixth Order is defying us. They shall suffer for this defiance. I'm 
charge our troops into the overall combat. Actually, no, let's make... You guys take out the hillmen. General's bodyguards slam into the rear of this fight over here. Janissaries are broken. Fellini are about to break. One of the musketeers are broken. Another unit of musketeers is still fighting for now. And they too have broken. And these men from this reinforcing army can knock out the Kurdish hillmen. The Israeli are finally broken, so you men form line. stuff. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit because now it's just a case of those hillmen being killed and the gunners being pushed back. Hurrah! So it was a bit of a bit of a bloody action there but hopefully it's one that we can recover from fairly quickly. We've lost a unit of cavalry most likely. Looks like it, yeah. But that army's been destroyed. You've been pushed away. You've been pushed away. Kiev is ours, so let's repair these buildings. Replenish your army. Once the city has been repaired, then we can start to replace any lost troops. You men advance on and attack that fragment of an army, just so they don't cause any trouble. Then you men advance up to the border near Russia, because we're getting to the point where we have to... Uh, Attack and destroy the Russians. You men attack the farmland here again just to make sure we don't lose track of where that fragment of an army is. Hey, Harold didn't die. So let's push two armies up here. One can take Kazan, one can march on to Ufa. You can take Ust. You can take Chukask. We might take. This force under Cameron Napier is desperately in need of modernizing, modernization. So you can actually wait. Yeah, why not? Get you near rocket troop. Okay, it's got a full complement of proper artillery, which is three six. So we've got three spaces. So you need to lose three units. Let's take you, you and. You send them probably back to France. Mr. Ashton, who is in Vienna, we can leave in one. Although I might just recruit a whole suite of dragoons so I can march him over to Brest just to make sure I know that he's an army that has to be deployed. Force here in London over Shackley Shack Stonehouse. And you're going to reinforce this guy. Okay, let's go to Greenwich and pick up a sixth rate. So then we can ship that army over to India as well. In the Americas, we're all still um, waiting. Waiting for various things to happen, I think. Well, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm sat here going. Hmm, what do I do? Obviously, we've got here to fight Istanbul. We've got to fight. We've got to take Tbilisi. So I might take this force under Mr. Bristow. March to the north and attack. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you. Oh no, you're not in a really good spot to do it either. Very well. In which case, then Mr. Charlton may attack Istanbul. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time for the assault on Istanbul and also the assault in Georgia. Cheers, everyone.